white. So that's kind of a good choice. <laughs> While we wait, I'll give you guys a quick one sit down of how we're doing it. We're doing it a little different than we did last time. You ladies over here. So we're doing gallery walls, which is really hard to show you and do at the same time. Mm -hmm. Michelle is going to be doing it. If she was actually showing you at the same time, her back would be to you. So we're going to do it a little different where she's going to kind of go through this little list here and kind of tell you what you can use. She's going to draw the diagrams on a whiteboard. And then we're going to take a trip around the store and kind of look at all of our various different gallery walls we have set up. We'll take a little break, get some food, get some drink, and then we'll come back and do questions. So, yeah. see, we're easy. Yes. Is it okay to take pictures? Yes. Always take pictures. We don't mind. And then we are live streaming this one, so it'll be up pretty much as soon as they're done. If you wanted to go back and rewatch anything that we went over. Um, yeah. Go ahead, take a seat, ladies. I don't like this because, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do both. You could just set your stuff down. I'm, I'm concerned about sitting it down on their table. Thank you. There you go. I'm sorry about that. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you very much. demo it she'd be facing the wall the whole time we figured that wasn't going to be a great demo and then we'll kind of take a walk around the store so you can see some of our options we have we'll take a little break and then we'll come back and we'll do questions okay okay and if you don't know me as she said i'm michelle i am i still say genie i'm genie store manager designer buyer so most of you i know some of you i do not notice um there was a lot of people asking on how they have pictures, they have different things, they don't know how to put them on their walls. And like Lauren had said, it's hard because then my back is to you the whole time and it's so time consuming. I would rather do it this way for you. And if it's not you know, good enough, then we can have another time where we will do the whole wall for you and explain it more. So a lot of people ask, what is a gallery wall? It can be baskets, it can be plates, it can be lanterns, pictures, family photos, and mirrors, okay? So what I'm gonna do, um, as you can see on the wall here, Judy and I had did baskets with a large print. So when we did this, we started with what we wanted to be our focal point. So if you have a big family picture of the whole family and you want to do photos around, you would start with that big focal point first, okay? So like, I'm going to draw on the erase board though. Here's another one. Sorry, your mom bought me too many. She bought me a whole bunch. Sorry. Okay, so say if you had a big picture you're going to start out with, okay? And that's your big family picture. Then you could do like three eight by tens and then like over here you could do a collage of like five by sevens if you wanted see how you fill it like a puzzle so you have your big one here and then you come in with your small when you do that keep your frames very similar if you want to do black you could do black with some frames a touch of gold or something but don't have them all different kinds of frames 
okay keep them all the same if possible they can be like i said thicker frames and then skinnier frames is long is they're like all black and then like silver black a little bit of piping on some of them is okay because they add your richness to it okay anybody have any questions on how to do the family photo one so far okay i do go right ahead should the outside pictures be level with the they big can one be okay. your wall is your wall mm -hmm. there is no wrong or right as far as i'm concerned if you have a sofa sitting down here you know or a sideboard again you're going to start with your main one and then what then an easy way to do this too is if you have floor space lay it out on the floor mm -hmm. so you're not tearing up your walls lay your big picture down because judy and i do that in the back a lot We'll lay one down and then we'll start filling back in with the smaller. So it's like, say if you had um, some rectangle ones, some really long rectangle ones that, you know, have like six or eight photos in each one. You could do those and then you could fill in over there. If there is no really, just keep them matching. Mm -hmm. That's the whole thing. And start with your one that's your focal point in the middle. Don't put a whole bunch of in the middle. Start with the big one. Don't put the big one over here, and then little ones here. That's going to throw it off. Okay. Anybody else have a question? I have a comment. Okay. When we say like matching frames, we don't necessarily mean you have to go to like Michaels and get all the same frame, right. but like a matching style, a complementary right. like color palette. You just don't want like a a teal plain frame with mm -hmm. like a gold ornate right. frame. And it I'm makes your eye go all over and your eye's supposed to flow. Mm -hmm. So for your eye to flow when somebody comes in, look, you don't want them doing this. <laughs> you want them to do this, okay? A lot of people don't realize that. You're like floating all over. Does the matting matter? No, mm -mm. no. Just as long as your frames, it's real important your frames. Okay. And again, they can be a thick black frame and a small black frame. You know, horizontal, vertical, it doesn't matter. It's just like Ray said, if you throw in a teal and an orange and a black, it's going to really, it's going to look choppy. Mm -hmm. It's going to look really choppy. Oh, so if you can keep them the same, then it looks like the whole grouping. Sure just like we kept all the baskets the same here. If I did all different kinds of baskets, it would tend to look more choppy. We started with the pitcher and then built around the pitcher. See that? So then, like I said, also... I did a lady's house in Columbia, Illinois, and she had a bed that had a very weird headboard. And she collected blue and whites, twalls, the flowers, stuff like that, and these plates. And what we did is she had a platter, and we started with that platter because her bed kind of came up, you know? So we start, I'll just kind of shut it. <laughs> so the bed was kind of like that. And she had nights, and I'm not an artist, I'm a decorator, not an artist. <laughs> so, she had nightstands, and she had really tall lamps, real tall lamps. So what we did is she had a large platter she had got from an antique store, real pretty one. We started with that one, and then we came up here, and she had two that matched. So we did here, here. She had another two that matched, and then we started filling in with different little ones just like this and it looks beautiful I wish I had the pictures it's beautiful and they're all antique plates because they travel a lot that she's collected and she didn't want pictures she wanted something different and she showed me underneath her dresser was full of these plates and she didn't know what to do with them so we did that as her gallery wall with the plates which was just beautiful and we kept it kind of almost in line might have been a little lower with the top of the lamp but these were very tall lamps and her nightstands were very tall so we had a lot of wall space because of that you know and with the headboard pictures wouldn't have been as easy to do as plates was mm -hmm. you know again any questions about the plates um just a comment again about lamps i always tell people just a design principle when you have like lamps or candlesticks or whatever it may be you want them to hit between like half and three quarters mm -hmm. of like where your art is. So when we're doing a mm -hmm. gallery wall, we want to be mindful that we're keeping the top of the lamps mm -hmm. again halfway to like three quarter 
quarters of the way up the mm -hmm. either the painting, the print, the gallery wall, whatever mm -hmm. it may be. Hers I had to do different because her headboard <coughs> is an old cherry style that we've all seen. And so I had to start up a little higher. But again, we were lucky because her lamps were taller. So go ahead, sweetie. Just curious, how did you mount those? With springs. Okay. But from the dollar store or Michael's the little springs. Mm -hmm. I put them on the back of every plate. She went and got them for me. And again, I laid them in the floor, put them the way I wanted them, and then I started hanging them. And then I used our hookers that we sell up here so it doesn't tear per walls. So, you know, I don't know if everybody knows about the hookers here. Okay, I have one. I put it in here on purpose. I'm getting it. Okay, so these are our hooks that we sell up front. Very, very inexpensive. They do not tear up your wall. As you pull out a screw or a nail, it will take the head off your paint. These will not. You're talking about a tack size hole, so it's better. The only thing they won't go in is studs. They hold 150 pounds a piece. Once they go in, they're holding the weight. So these are excellent. Like I said, we have them up at the register. Are they? So we've got a four pack and a 10 pack, and I believe they are, oh goodness. Four ninety nine and eight ninety nine or something, so they're pretty. Michelle, you're describing these as a yep. replacement so. to nails. Yes, 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 and uh, screws. Uh, my husband's a drywall taper, and like he he loves okay. these because of Walk that. Kind of show you guys. So when you do it, you're gonna kind of like cup it like this uh -huh. and go through the wall, twist it, and put it up. The whole point of it is it kind of catches on your drywall like this, mm -hmm. so it holds. Super easy. Oh, okay. Everything you see is show pretty much again. hung with these oh, around the store. Can you show that again? Yep, so I kind of grab them like this, going through the wall, it twist it up, your pinky. and like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, you can put your pinky right yeah, there and go. It, it looks Sometimes like it twisted. stands away from the wall significantly. No. Nope, so you can get it where the wall kind of goes straight there, and then I you see. just hang stuff. Stick it in that wall right there, Michelle. I'm not very good at this, but... It's okay. <laughs> so watch I've got a hole already here. There's not a good way to show you. I'll do it on both sides. I'm gonna go through a hole, pretend it's not there. You would just kind of shove it in, mm -hmm. twist it around, and go. And it forms a hook. And it just makes oh. a little hook that you would just hang the thing on. Hmm. You can't really tell once they're up, everything you yeah. see is kind of hung with them. And that's there. what catches our lanterns that everybody asks. Wow. How are you getting these lanterns hanging? <laughs> you can catch that back metal, and we can show you. This little hook goes right in, and it rests it's on that hook. It's super hard to see. I'll come show you guys back yeah. here also. Yeah, yeah. these things are lifesavers. Again, Instead of those things that explode when you get in the wall, yeah. those wing nuts. It's not too much wire. It's amazing. You don't need a hammer. You don't need a hammer. And it's just that part showing so that it's not sticking out too far. If you need to stick out a little further, you can tell it can move around and it will hold it super tiny. I don't think a lot of people notice we have them. And we put them in a jar up at the register and we try to recommend when you're buying pictures from us, we try to recommend these. I keep them in my apron. Judy keeps them in her apron. We keep Why we lose a lot of them? They've yeah, got them. You, these are awesome. I mean, really, you are buy a pack of nothing else today. Buy a pack and keep them at home. You don't have to wait for hubby. You don't have to measure out. Stick it in there, pull it, let it rest, and, and set your lanterns, your plates. The plate springs catch this real easy, real, real easy, because on the back of the plate springs, you just have like a little upside down V shape, and it doesn't come far off the wall. This catches it. So again, it's better to use something like this when you're doing the plates, okay? Okay, so the next I said was baskets. So if you wanna do a whole wall in baskets, say, and you can do that, you could start with either like something a little like this as a basket and then do the different shapes you know, the fill-ins, these guys, you could do them more, the longer, scare, you know, skinnier ones. But again, we're gonna walk around and I'm gonna show you all the walls that we've done. Because like I told Lauren, my back would be to you the whole time and I would be able to do one wall. So that's not much of a, you know, thing. So I thought this might be better to show you on here and then walk you around and show you on the walls and then you can ask questions afterwards, okay? So again, if you didn't want to have all baskets, I'm thinking like a kitchen on a wall, you got a sideboard underneath it with two lamps, you could do a really pretty collage of the baskets. You could put a wreath in maybe the center one would be beautiful as your focal point. 
you know, you could do just a green relief or you could do one like that Jennifer makes. It's full of color with a fun bow. A guest bedroom again, you could do that in. If you don't want a picture and you don't want plates, you might just want some very soft baskets and then put the wreaths and stuff in it to richen them up with baskets. We also use them as like layering pieces. Mm -hmm. Yep. We put plates in our baskets when they're, we have some that are like rectangle. Uh, we put the hangers over there that are the wreath hangers, but we put them up there. They hold a wreath and they hold a candle and they go in those rectangle baskets real easy. So see, that's another way that if you did a whole wall of baskets, you can richen it up with the little green wreaths or the larger wreaths. And those new candle holders are 29. I think they're like 20, they're amazing. They're adjustable. They can go very short, they can go long. You can use them in your baskets. You get tired of your baskets, you can put them on your front door. You know, it's not like it's a waste of an investment. They're really cool. We just got those this year, wasn't it, I yeah. believe. Yeah, so we, we those are good. Any questions about baskets what or anything? On the fireplace right here, you see the rectangle basket? Oh yeah, okay. It has a black hanger and those are new. And it has a hook that will hold a wreath and a candle. You can do a taper or a little pillar candle oh. on top of those. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll point them out when we walk so around. If you, had a basket, can't see them. <laughs> if you did a wall with nothing but baskets, mm -hmm. but you want to richen it up, mm -hmm. you could do something like that mm -hmm. also. You know, bedroom, you can mm -hmm. put little bows, you could do different things like that with the baskets. Okay. So we've done family photos, we've done the baskets, plates. we've done plates, lanterns. Yeah. I'm gonna let you look here on the wall. Um, We've sold a couple. We, we have sold, sold some. Lot. Yeah, the lanterns are unique again. Those hookers will catch the back of the lanterns very easy for you. I don't know that a nail or a screw would catch it because the hook goes up under where the lid lifts over there is where it's catching it. So it's got a little bitty gap and that's what's catching it. Like these here are open already, so it catches these real easy. We have these in gray, black, gold, and the copper, and these lanterns. They're very, very lightweight. Again, you can see how we put the candles and the greenery in them, but the hooker catches that real easy in the wall. So you could do a wall of those in a dining room, um, family room, just, Anywhere you need like a soft light, like I hate yes. kind of around a TV putting lamps yeah. just because it's too light, yeah. it's too glary, mm -hmm. um, but like a couple really pretty lanterns with mm -hmm. our little candles in them, you can either go to Radiance or Luminera mm -hmm. candles, it's just like the soft light that you need when you're just sitting around watching the TV. Mm -hmm. um, and our Radiance are our best priced candles, so they are just phenomenal right now. We can't keep them, everybody's buying them, we have some newer little sizes up here, three packs that are just over the top. I probably sold 10 sets over the weekend. Um, but the Radiance candles also have a timer. So once you get your lanterns on your wall, you can set them with a timer and you don't have to stress about it or you can get a remote and turn them on and off when you want. But if they're in an area, you can set the timer and it's for five hours. So the Radiance candles are really good. And if you want a soft light, like Ray said, you can put those in, you know, that it's not real, real bright. I wouldn't put them on TVs or anything like that. But, you know, a big wall behind a sectional sofa. Um, another thing is going, I had a lady yesterday, going down her stairs, she had an area where it kind of sloped that she needed something, and she had an area where the banister was here and a straight wall. And we did a bunch of baskets and candles and things to go down that wall because she said when they go, she didn't want anything to stick out because she felt the grandkids would hit it and knock it off the wall. So we did a bunch of the baskets, and in the center she did a wreath with just a bow, um, the everyday magnolia wreath is what we did in the center with a, a ball bow right now. And she loved it, and she bought a bunch of the monkey hooks to take home with her to hang them. So if you have those areas where, again, you've got your banister and a lot of the newer homes, and you've got that huge wall and you don't know what to put on it, that's again where you could do a gallery wall. Uh, the ones where they slope up coming up, you could do a gallery wall. You would just have to be really creative. And Judy and I did one for Katie. Um, and we did the lanterns and we put clear glass jars with a twig of greenery and that was it. And we did the large, medium, and small. So it almost looked like the steps going down. And she liked that. And it was just a piece of greenery. She didn't want a lot. 
We just did a twig of greenery in each one. We kept the jars with the hue of green to them, but one was really fat, one was tall. They were different sizes. And then she went with these lanterns, the open ones in black. So it looked really pretty. Your prints, again, you can do, you can start again with your focal point, whatever your, your main picture is. Uh, and you can have all different pictures and no matches. And again, I recommend lay them in the floor and do them like a puzzle before you put them on your wall. Just kind of play with them, move them around till you get happy with it, then start placing them on your wall. So again, you could have a big picture like this, you know, that you have, and you could do a rectangle picture here, a rectangle picture here, keep it. If it's higher, you could do a small picture up above, kind of keep it, you know, again, it's how you place them. And I think it's gonna be easier for them to see our walls and see, again, I apologize if this is not helping you, but I didn't wanna keep my back to you the whole time doing a wall and you're just sitting there. So I thought if I could do something like this again and then walk you around, I thought you might like it better. Does anybody have any questions so far about anything else right now? <coughs> you can ask me anything. Go ahead. Um, I have a guest bath, a hall bath, mm -hmm. bath. Mm -hmm. and we just painted it mm -hmm. and finished. But in a small space like that, uh, the mirror on one is pretty pronounced. It has a kind of a thick black frame. Do you okay. recommend putting something like over the toilet or on the side wall that's all bare? Do I just kind of shrink this down? If you're doing down? pictures or something, I would take your side wall. The side so wall. So it's not on top of your mirror. If you want something over the commode, mm -hmm. I would do like a basket, okay. maybe like a rectangle basket. Mm -hmm. You could put a soft little wreath in it or something. But if it's pictures, I would stay away from that mirror. I would move over to your wall. To the wall, because mm -hmm. I haven't found a picture I like, yeah. so I was thinking a basket with a mm -hmm. wreath yes, inside. Yes, it would be very pretty. Mm -hmm. And I, just a singular one would be okay? You could do that, yeah. Or You could do that, I mean, it depends on your space, uh -huh. but you could do a decent size one with a wreath, mm -hmm. and then you could do two slim ones. Oh, okay. And you could either do, you yeah. can either do like your basket here, and two slim on each side like that oh. with your wreath okay have something like that okay. instead of pictures um the pictures when you put them over here on your commode by your mirror they're going to play against each other they will yeah. i would let that mirror be all by itself okay. and stand out on its own okay. again if you did any if you do this with the baskets i would not put a basket over the, the commode Okay, if you're gonna, if you want to do one big basket like this, mm -hmm. you could do like two little baskets over the commode mm -hmm. and not put anything in them, mm -hmm. smaller. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't make it all matchy. Yeah. If you're gonna have something on each side of your big basket, mm -hmm. then I would not put nothing over right. the commode basket wise. Okay. But if you don't have these guys here mm -hmm. and you have the one, then you could put two smaller, maybe you do them a diamond shape over the commode and do the mm -hmm. other one straight or something. Okay where they kind of stand out on their own. Great. Thank you yeah. very much. Any other questions? No? Okay, do you guys want to get up and go walk around and we'll kind of look at everything and take a good look at these walls. Like I said, these are our lanterns. This stuff is now, interesting. If you've got big purses or anything yeah. and you want to just leave them, we're going to come back and kind of yeah, read them. We're going to come back. Carry them. Oh, the monkey hooks. Yeah, uh, is that, are those monkey hooks there? Yeah, as much as she's been in. <laughs> yes. Do they, do they go, do they, do they, they sweet you. Is this point the same as the entry point? Yeah. The diameter of it? No. Or the location of the wall? Oh, yeah. So wherever you are stabbing the original uh -huh. is where the end is where it will I know it sounds like I don't know it's not, but yeah, wherever it goes in is where it'll sit at the higher arch. Uh huh. Okay. And when you do it, you can when you twist it, you can kind of feel that it's on the back of the drywall, and that'll tell you that you got it in there, right? Can I stick it in one of your holes? Yeah. Make a mess here. No, you're all good. You can leave it. Walls over their sofas or a sideboard. You just go up, yep, and then you just, and, then that way. Yep. <laughs> and that's it. 
That's it. And it'll hold up to 150 pounds each. That's amazing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Me know about that. Yeah, it's no problem. All right, you guys, I'm going to walk you around kind of while we do it here. And I'm going to show you some of our walls. So this is the one that we were standing next to, which you might have saw part of the basket. But that is the focal point Michelle was talking about that she started with. And then she's staggering her baskets next to them. And like Ray mentioned, you kind of want your lamps to go up to half or three quarters. So that's a great one. This is the little lantern wall she mentioned. A lot of them sold, so it doesn't look complete, but I promise it did at one point. We had a few more lanterns around, but that's another way you can do it with our focal point being this frame wreath in the little skull. Let's see here. I was gonna say, while we're, while we're away from the crowd, um, we're talking a lot about doing a gallery wall with the same type of medium, aka prints, baskets, whatever it may be. The fun thing about a gallery wall is you don't have to do all the same thing. So this is a really good example of that. We have a mirror, um, we have the lanterns, we have the prints, and we have the baskets. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, bring a picture of your wall of the things you already have, um, and we'll help you kind of fill in from there if you come into the store. Let's see. We're going to play catch up a little bit because I didn't realize they were moving in a certain order. So here's one of our walls that is just prints. And this one's straight around, but you can do staggered. If you've got a wall that's got a lot of height and you don't want to put two big pictures, you can stagger them, offset them a little bit. Just again, make sure it looks proportional with your lamps and everything. Let's see here. This one over here, we did kind of a little different. So half our wall was taken with this, so we kind of staggered where you could tell a lot of it was over here. So we've got the baskets with the jutes and the candles and the greenery, which are super cute. That's one way you can do it. And then we've got our little clock. If we had more open room, we would mimic on this side. But if you're working with limited space, this looks totally fine. It looks great. Let's see here more pictures like i mentioned it looks like we sold a few of whatever was there <laughs> all righty so this was one of my favorite rooms with our gallery walls happening. I'm not gonna stand here first. So this first wall we have is actually a bunch of staggered mirrors, hello. And I find this so interesting. First of all, I love these mirrors. They are so cool. They're kind of window pane mirrors with ornate tops. But we did them where we staggered them because we've got a sofa that, I don't know if you can tell, it kind of uh, arcs. So this is kind of the highest point on the sofa. So we wanted to kind of mimic that with our wall and our decor. So again, you can tell the lamp only comes about to half or three quarters with our other decor. Here's one of our other walls that I think is super cute. So this is that mixed media that Ray mentioned where we used baskets, we used pictures. You can add greenery to these baskets if you put them inside of it. And this is kind of one that we do for a lot of people if they've got weird areas where it's not a super big wall or it's super skinny we'll do mixed media like this where one size basket we kind of change it how it is the pictures kind of work as good leading your eyes to it if that makes sense let's see we've got another little mirror gallery wall this one's a little bit different because this sofa is actually curved backwards so we didn't have to do the arch we kind of took advantage of the fact that these are fun shaped mirrors and we staggered them like they're kind of connected so i think Obviously, those are so fun kind of even that out i think one sold on that yep i think that one sold <laughs> but you can tell we kind of took advantage of the item we were using in that one another picture wall and i think there was an arrangement there is why there's a gap a lot of our stuff is selling 
a little lantern wall. As you can see, we take advantage of the different size lanterns we have and we put different greeneries in them. So this one's got one of our big moss balls and a little bucket. That one's got a smaller one and a candlestick. That one's got a smaller one and a little bucket. So it kind of all goes together, but it's not super matchy matchy. Let's see here. There's a lot to look at and I think they're going to specific places, but I don't want to get stuck. So let's see here. Oh goodness. We've got so many walls. I don't know what to show you guys. <laughs> Alrighty. So we've got this wall, which when we did the display, this side was kind of acting as a different room, but it still goes together really well with what we have happening here. So that picture is your main focal point. You've got the big baskets to take advantage of the rest of the space of the wall. These baskets you would mimic on the other side if you had the space for it over there. But those are super fun. You can put them anyway. So we've got them up and down like this. You can turn it where there's shelves and you can decorate them any way you'd like. I know we had them in a, a bookcase for a while that we had plates stacked in there. We had little greenery rings, everything. So those are great baskets that kind of give you a lot of options. There's those guys again. This is also one of my other favorite gallery walls. Judy did this one and it looks like one of the lanterns sold, but she mixed prints, lanterns. She actually, instead of, she's assuming this is gonna be in someone's kitchen. She put little bottles of wine, champagne. She actually put a little goblet up in that one, which you might not be able to see because it's clear, but she had another one that was back there for a while, but it looks like when we put this arrangement up, we took it down. But that's super fun way to kind of show off any fine china you may have, any, if you've got a good wine that you don't actually drink, you just want to show off, you can totally do it in our little lanterns. Let's see here, what are the walls do we have? If you guys have any questions, now is a good time to ask them. Uh, we are going to sit back down with Michelle in a minute and kind of talk about it. All the things we're kind of looking at. Here's another example Michelle mentioned during her live stream that if you've got like a main sitting area and you've got a TV on your wall that you kind of want to put something around, I'm going to use the bookcase in this example, but we kind of staggered baskets on both sides just so it kind of looks a little bigger, but it doesn't draw away from your bookcase and you can put greenery rings in them. You could leave them plain. As you can see, she also stacked some plates and baskets in these. You can hang those on the wall and it would be a perfect gallery wall. Let's go look at some of the other rooms. I think we only have a few other rooms left, guys. <laughs> All right, this is another one of my absolute favorites just because it's very different. So we've got these fun, uh, I'm gonna call them prints that are like French cheese and milk prints and we've kind of staggered them with these little why can I not remember the name of them right now oh my goodness corbels oh my goodness guys it's been a long day so we staggered those with corbels and then a cute little wheat wreath and we've got these new like wheat bundles that we put them with so it still kind of goes, but it's kind of different. And we put little clocks next to them. And as you can tell, it just adds a whole new like aesthetic to the area. I think it's so pretty. And there's the lamp again, that's kind of only three quarters. <laughs> Here's another one of the different walls we have. So we've got the mirror acting as the main focal point because it is so big. But we've got little pictures staggered on both sides of it. We left a little bit of gap because that's where the shade sits on the lamp, which is totally fine. You can do that. Sometimes we'll tell you if you come in and you're just getting pictures that you're going to want to cover it a little bit at the bottom. If you've got a lamp in front of it, cover it a little bit, which will create a perfect look. But since these are two separate pictures, we did not cover any. And it looks like you can also add the baskets we've got next to it, which are so cute. I love this mirror. 
but it is super big. <laughs> Let's see her. <laughs> this is another one that I love that mixes the medias. So you've got the main prints right here. Then we've got our narrow, long tobacco baskets. And in there, it looks like we kind of changed it, but we had all of our wreaths kind of hanging off of a bow that had a streamer going down on one of them that we kind of attached to these. And I thought those were so cute, but it looks like we just attached those to the basket, which you can totally do. And then we've got our extra ones set on the outside because this is kind of a wide piece. And we just wanted to take advantage of the full wall. Let's see here. If you've got a wall that's kind of got something in the middle, like a shelf or something, and you're not sure how you want to decorate it, this is a great way to do it. Or a mantle, you can consider that a mantle. You can stagger it if you don't have much space up and down to do anything, because it still creates that flow that we're looking for. And then you just decorate the shelf or mantle as you normally would. Let's see here. Another wall. I believe that mirror is one piece. So the green grate and the mirror in the center that you can't really see is one piece. And then we put a wreath on it and we put frames around it. And we've actually got lanterns with this with greenery in it. So that's a great example of mixing all of the different elements we kind of talked about. Let's see here. That might be just about all of the walls we have here that have something. But if you guys have any questions, Feel free to ask right now. We can go hunt down Michelle and get answers, or I'm probably able to answer them. Not nearly as great as Michelle, but... Are we back in the room? We might be back in the room. I don't know if she had a set path we were working on. <laughs> oh, here's another example on the wall. So this one actually has a window that we didn't want to hide, so we kind of draped, used that as the focal point, draped some garland around... And we actually took our long prints that are actually kind of like mirrors that we just put on both sides of it to not take away. And then we've got our baskets next to it that got wreaths in them. That way you still get to use your window. You still get that light coming in and everything, but it acts as a big focal point to everything around it. Here's another one where we've got the clock and the lanterns. We've got one that's sitting. If this was an actual wall, we would hang it. Let's see here. This is one of my favorite ones. We actually took a sconce, put it in the basket, hung it in the basket. We would do matching on the side if you wanted, or you could do staggering like this. I actually love this picture. You've probably seen me post it already. This is such a pretty area. Let's see here. Some other little walls we've got. Again, it looks like we had an opening here that might have been a window. And instead of leaving that as the focal point, we put a basket and a wreath over it. And then kind of did the same thing where we put tall things on either side with garland across. Another one that uses prints and greenery in it. We just kind of staggered the baskets a little different on this one. So this one, as you can tell, is angled, and so is that one. Just because it kind of draws your eye out a little bit. It's hard to show you this one. There's not enough room for me to back up. But I think we are going back to the room, and we are going to answer some questions now. So let's see here. Some other fun things. If you've got a wall that you, or like something like this, I would consider a gallery wall where you've got your big animal or whatever your focal point is you don't necessarily have to hang the stuff you can set it next to it if it's like on a mantle and it's still considered a gallery wall and if you guys heard her mention the uh candlesticks that can adjust that's these are the ones that she's talking about it can hold a candle right here and then it's gonna hook to hold a ring and it's an adjustable height in case you needed it shorter but it actually fits really well in that rectangle basket It looks like we are back to the start here, guys. Yeah, there you go. So I'm gonna set you back up on the uh, tripod. If you guys have any questions, go, feel free to ask. I'll ask Michelle for you, because she can't actually see. But she will answer those, any questions you may have. Let me know if you can hear me or not. I did set you down.
And if you guys weren't able to make it, this video, as you're watching, will still be on our page for pretty much the rest of the time. Um, we're going to live stream each Monday's and Mimosa now, so if you can't ever make it in person, don't worry. We will be live streaming on our Facebook. Uh, and the video might be later posted to Instagram. Instagram is a little harder to post videos to because they're so they need to be short. So not sure about that, but it will be on our website. Same with the calendar of when our next one is. And I believe it tells you what we are doing on our calendar. So if you guys wanted to go check that out, I put our link to our website. You would just go to the tab that says calendar and it'll tell you all of our events that are coming up that have set dates for them. And if you guys kind of liked how we did this one where Michelle kind of drew on the board as opposed to actually doing the demo because we didn't want her facing the wall and not being able to hear her, let us know because we might do it again. We've got a few other ideas in mind that would also be difficult to demonstrate while we do. So we're still trying to figure out how to do this for you guys, but if you think this went well, we might repeat it. Alrighty, I think we are just waiting for people to find their way back. Michelle's answering a few questions about people's houses, and then we will go into our question time. So go ahead and send those questions if you have them, and I'll ask her as soon as we start. I do not. I remember us talking about that. I don't know if a decision was made because I've been gone past week. I'm on your side. I think that's good. I think you should for coming. I do. You had to listen to me. I think you should. I'm not going to stir That's for sure. I said I'm not comfortable. I, don't, I can talk to you, as Joanne can say, all day long in the store. The camera's not going to work. If they are, I'm going to stay here if they have any other questions. Oh, okay. Yeah, and okay. then we'll be done. Oh, you're not doing, oh. no, I'm not doing anything else. It's just unless you have questions. Oh, this? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, yes. So yes. if you guys don't have questions, and if you need help through the store, but find out, uh, I don't know how we are let everybody know. Hold on one second so we can let you know if there's a discount. 
and then that way you can shop. Are you going to have the fall, like the fall friends and family or whatever? whatever uh, the open, open house. house. Yeah, uh -huh. um, they're doing the September 12th to the 18th anniversary. The oh, okay. they are. Okay. Well, that's yeah. awesome. Oh, and then yeah. probably, I think the next one most of will probably be like doing a fall setting, a tablescape oh. and stuff. Oh, really? I'll probably do that. Ooh, nice. And then okay. do the Christmas tree top. Oh, that's oh, great. Oh, nice. I'll do those cool. and then. <laughs> and they're on Mondays. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'll ask. Can we next time do the um, the tablescapes with the fall and harvest on the table if they would like, and then Christmas recap? We have those both planned out. Okay. Um, so then they'll be posted. They'll be posted. Yeah. 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 So if you go to our website and our calendar yes. section, yeah. we've got all of our future events okay. listed there, and I think we've got the Mondays most of those events yeah. okay. so we'll do there. I have. I told them we were going to do question time, yeah. but. Okay, guys. Yep. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you for if you have any questions, we can answer those. You can leave comments and everything down below. I hope you enjoyed. Again, we did gallery walls today, baskets, plates, lanterns, pictures, mirrors. You can mix everything, whatever works for your house. It is your house, your style. If you like it, do it. It works. I promise. If you need any help, feel free to come in, uh, bring pictures with you. We love pictures. It helps us so much. And we can work off of those pictures and kind of tell you what you're leaning towards, what you should probably look into getting, what sizes, shapes would be best for your room. Uh, but if you have any questions, again, comment them down below. Thank you so much for watching. Next month's Monday Mimosa, again, is the last Monday of every month. I don't remember at the time what we're going to be talking about. But again, if you go to our calendar section on our website, it'll be listed there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we hope to see you back next time. Bye. <laughs>